Hello YouTube, welcome diecast enthusiasts. Um, today I'm steering away slightly again from 164th scale and what we have here is in actual fact from Shuko. Now Shuko started as a brand in 1912 so it's been going a number of years. Um, I really like Shuko models, they're always very nice quality. Um, I've had 143rd, a few 118ths in the past and a few of these little 190th scales and 164th of course. Um, now this is a Shuko Piccolo and Piccolo as a series was started in 1958. Now of course this is much more recent than that. Um, but they're really, really nice quality. They're all solid metal castings with either very little or no plastic at all. So they're very heavy. Um, this one here is a Fiat Transporter. And it's carrying a Ferrari 250 GTO and a 250 Le Mans. And the car at the bottom there is a Mercedes 300 SL. This, the Mercedes isn't part of the set, but I've just put that car in there just to show that it would carry three cars. But the two Ferraris are part of the same set with the transporter. So what we do, we take a closer look at them. Just take the cars off there. And it does come with another ramp which you can insert into the back and also some ramps for there. It's a bit fiddly this, I will try my best just to show you. And also this little name panel here. So just taking those ramps away for a moment. Um, now this here, the top ramp, will sit down it's, it's quite awkward but yeah that will sit like that. So and of course you can drive on to the top level from the ground, up the ramp so to speak. What I'll do is I'll just take that off so we can have a closer look at this transporter. Now as I say it's all metal and this is a really nice quality heavy piece. All as one single casting, the windows are depicted by a painted silver panel there, or panels. Um, but we've got obviously painted lights and a registration plate with Ferrari logo and text. Really nice detail on the grill. That isn't one flat panel, that is ridged. So that is very good. And obviously we've got the Ferrari letter in there and the race logos. The wheels do rotate freely and they are rubber tyres inside you can see the Shuko Piccolo emblem there twin wheels at the back a 
again this is all metal the safety bar we've got the plate there on the back and some tempo printed indicator lights a little bit of paint loss there where the ramp that I've showed you has clipped on now as I say this is 1 90th scale so quite a bit smaller than the 1 64th that we tend to love um, we take a look at the cars now this is the Mercedes 300 SL again you can see the edition 2005 so that would have been when it was produced this in actual fact is called a Bubmobile but it's um, the same size There's the, they seem to have changed their name or they use the name Bub as well as Piccolo but the base is screwed on there you can see small screws at the front and the back and we've got some exhaust detail again rubber tyres nice lot of freedom got painted headlights and bumper some nice painted detail on the grille gold wing doors got a sort of a no glass in these or acrylic to sh show that it's got a windscreen as such so that is one part but a minor part Lady Tampo print there on the boot lid, painted bumpers. And just the single wing mirror. Nice paint finishes in the red. So that's the Mercedes. We take a look at the GTO. Again with these Piccolos and Bub they all have the same design of wheel. But again the nice rubber tyres. As you can see you've got the Shuko and Piccolo 250 GTO there. Raised lettering on the metal chassis. Race number 22, again painted window panels and headlights, tempo printed vent there, again painted rear panel for the lights and plate. But nice heavy model again so really nice quality and here we have 250 Le Mans number 21 this one again same wheels got painted rear lights there in actual fact they're not painted they're the same colour in certain lights it looks slightly lighter but they are the same colour as the body we've got two sets there of twin exhausts 
nice grid grill detail there again with painted or tempo printed lights your raised letter in there again on the metal base so very nice a slightly darker red this one you can probably see from the point of view of the length of my finger how long this model is So, you can put that there. In actual fact, let's put that on top. We put that there and the Mercedes next to it. Again, that's the metal ramp that goes on the top. Again, a slight paint loss there. But no big concern, I can touch that up if need be. The bottom ramp, and of course the ramps that go there. Now I'll just span out to show you the box. And that's the carded outer box. So Shuko limited edition it says there. And on the reverse of the box it's limited to a thousand pieces there's your detail there that's what it is along with the reference number and the Shuko text there and just some little warning sentences and this is the plastic insert where the model sits with that's the insert and that's the cover that goes over the top and that's about it guys so that is my little piccolo 190th scale by Shuko. I think it's a smart little set. I do like this, although it's not 164th scale. I do like some of these little detailed models that are a little bit different. So I hope you agree. Um, I'll leave it there. So take care, stay safe, and bye for now.